hello guys welcome back to all so in this video we are going to discuss about the formation of nitrogen molecule okay so how the nitrogen molecule will form let us see so the nitrogen atomic number is 7 and its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p3 right so it is containing three unpaired electrons right in the outermost shell one two three so here in the outermost shell there are total number of five electrons are there to get the octet configuration it requires three electrons is it okay now who gives three electron to the nitrogen atom to get octet configuration so this is case one for example take this is as case one in case take another nitrogen atom in case two it is also having 1s2 2s2 2p3 configuration so it is also having five electrons in the outer motion it also requires three electrons to get octet configuration so now if suppose the two nitrogen atoms comes close together approaches each other then what happen each nitrogen atom contributes three electron in each case for bonding so therefore let us take this is one nitrogen atom it is containing five electrons in the outermost shell so let us this is another nitrogen atom it is also having five electrons in the outermost shell so now to get the octet configuration each nitrogen atom is donating three electrons in each case so this nitrogen atom is giving three electrons and this nitrogen atom is giving three electrons and the remaining electrons are there here okay so now if suppose if the two nitrogen atoms are giving here three electrons so here three bonds are formed between the nitrogen atom so these three are called covalent bonds because sharing of electrons takes place here so here three bonds will form which means in between the ni two nitrogen atoms a triple bond is formed is it okay so this is the formation of nitrogen molecule so nitrogen atom containing three electrons in each case so first case second case so by donating by sorry by sharing the three electrons in each case triple bond is formed between the two nitrogen atoms so now let us see these three bonds are covalent bonds then how many sigma bonds will form and how many pi bonds will form let us see so now here nitrogen containing three bonds between them so which means its configuration is already we know 1s2 2s2 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 so in the outermost shell they are containing five electrons but in five electrons only three electrons will participate in the bond formation the remaining two electrons are not participating in the bond formation so that is why each nitrogen atom having one lone pair electrons in each case which means the pair this electron pair is not involving in the bond formation right so that is why this is called lone pair of electrons so now in in each case only the three p orbitals will participating in the bond formation because the three p orbitals having one unpaired electron in each case so let us draw the diagram of p orbital so this is px py and pz so this is px orbital PY orbital, PZ orbital, right? Of one nitrogen atom. So now, 
take another nitrogen atom so this is second one x orbital y orbital and z orbital so in each case this is px orbital pz or sorry pz py so in each orbital it is containing one unpaired electron so here also one unpaired electron in each case if these two nitrogen atoms are combined so what will happen let us see so first what will happen the px orbital of one nitrogen atom is overlapping with the px orbital of the other nitrogen atom so it gives sigma bond between the px px orbitals along the internuclear axis so let us draw the full diagram so this is the py orbital so now let us see so this is px orbital this is pz orbital this is py orbital right so here also this is py this is pz so in each case each orbital is containing one electron in each case so now if suppose the two px orbitals are taking overlap side by side along the internuclear axis right so here sigma bond is formed between the px and px orbital because here side by side overlapping takes place but in case of py orbital and pz orbital lateral overlapping takes place here so that is why pi bond is formed between the pz pz and pz orbitals and another pi bond is formed between the py and py orbitals so the three bonds are one sigma bond is between px and px and two pi bonds are between py py and pz pz so like this the nitrogen molecule having triple bond is it clear why here pi two pi bonds are formed means so here py in py there is a lateral overlapping is there is it perpendicular to the internuclear axis right so this is internuclear axis so that is why in case of py py one pi bond is formed in case of pz and pz also one pi bond is formed so totally three bonds are formed in between the nitrogen atoms so nitrogen molecule having linear structure and containing one lone pair of electrons in each nitrogen atom so this is all about the formation of nitrogen molecule so if you want to get more videos like this please subscribe my channel thank you all